Um, Riley, Melissa Benoist. Melissa Benoist, um, did you see she put out um, a very powerful Instagram story, a very powerful statement revealing that she has been, you know, uh, a victim of domestic abuse. She didn't name uh, who it was, but uh, everybody uh, created the hashtag, I stand with Melissa, came to her defense, or not defense, just came to her support, and um, I found it very, very it was powerful watching her video for me, at least. So what this do you was think, it was a fifteen minute video, and it came out. I saw it on Thanksgiving Day. Did you? Is that what? Uh, that's when Amanda, was, Amanda was watching it on Friday. Okay, we so home. I watched it on Thursday. So at least it was out on Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. uh, and I had no idea what I was clicking on. Somebody tagged me in it, and then I I clicked on it, and she's reading. Uh, uh, she's written a speech. She's prepared it, which I think because of the church makes very a lot hard. of sense because she wants to yeah. make sure she's hitting all the things she needs to. She wanted to tell people, but also interesting that she put it out on Thanksgiving, uh, and I'm really impressed by her that she was able to come forward to everybody and talk about this because I think that especially with domestic abuse people usually have a picture in their head of who this is taking ha- happening to and that picture isn't always somebody like Melissa Benoist and she's our supergirl mm-hmm, she's yeah. literally she is supergirl and, and I, I mean I may have said I don't like supergirl it doesn't mean I don't like Melissa Benoist I just right. didn't really the show never really hit it for me yeah regardless so yeah I, I hope to, you can't make that no I no, understand that's, where you're that's coming from yeah. no but the internet stupid. believe you me sure the internet will. will make the connection uh, yeah but I, you don't like supergirl you don't like Shh. I yeah. I thought that she did such an excellent job with this I feel distraught and depressed that she had to go through what she went through yeah. and I feel very hopeful for her future that she is trying to bring this to light, help other people, and probably herself as well. And right mm-hmm. now she is engaged to the guy that uh, that's in Supergirl, right? That, uh, married, I believe. Yeah, oh, she's, she's married. Chris Wood. Yeah. And he Who plays did put out... Mono. Mono. Yeah, he put out his, his own tweet over Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to kiss my wife and hold her tenderly all day and every day. How do you show love? I stand with Melissa. That almost made me. It's like it's beautiful for for him to just be there and say well, something. Well, because it was like the ex husband that was the abuser, right? So, yeah, so she didn't she yeah. didn't say who. What she said was this: per, the the hints in there are I was filming a movie at the time that the phone was thrown at my face, mm-hmm. um, and that the person is younger than she is, and that it was years of a relationship, um, and obviously she was living in Los Angeles. So people have put the pieces together, thinking that it is her ex husband. Um, his name is Blake. Jenner. Now, I don't know that to be fact, it but is. that's what people are saying. And I think that if it's not him, then she certainly like would have probably said that because everything that she said about him makes it point towards him. So mm-hmm. I would have to assume at this point without slander or uh, defamation that it is probably him. Mm. Um, and it, and if it is, it's yeah. him. you think so? Yeah. If it is, uh, I I sincerely hope that he is not working in Hollywood Correct. for for any longer. I, it's uh, I mean you know, go away. You, go you, away. You have to. You, I mean you, you can't need help. kick the living shit out of your wife and still expect to be Correct. praised by people. I yeah. mean go away. It's it's horrific. And hearing her stories, it it sucks that she had to do what she had to do to be believed. But I think that. The way that she described everything, I haven't heard one person be like, there's no way that could be true because she went into such detail and she recounted the stories uh, top to bottom and talked about multiple different instances, situations, Holy jobs she could shit. not attend. Look at that. He was cast in that decades, the film that will go along for the next 20 years, that he was Blake Jenner, that he was supposed to be in that movie with Richard Linklater. Well, he was also in Linklater's uh, Everybody, Everybody Wants, wants Everybody Wants Him. Yeah. Um, crazy. I mean, like, if you do some six degrees of sec- separation here, Tyler Hecklin, Superman, yeah, right, the star of Everybody Wants Some. Mm-hmm. In some respects, I mean, there was multiple yeah. stars of it, but you know, he was one of the stars of it. Uh, obviously, you know, has worked with M- Melissa Benoist. Um, you have, I, I, like, the, the hard thing about well, this. Well, he was also on. Uh, uh, Blake was also on Supergirl, right? yeah. mm-hmm. where Monel also is her husband. Current that husband. is crazy. Mm-hmm. And it was really at the time fascinating because fans were on. I, I remember because I have done coverage for the CWDC sure. shows for so long. They were really there was a lot of a uh, backlash to the fact that she got such a fast divorce and and was with a new person who was on the same show. Mm-hmm. I saw a lot of hatred for that. But like the truth is, you never know what somebody's going through. And again, if this is him. And she was getting physically assaulted by her husband. Then 
leave as fast as you can mm-hmm. safely and fall in love with whoever the fuck else you want Thank get you. into a new exactly. relationship. The hard, the hard part is with, with this situation is that men that do this are extremely emotionally man- manipulative. Mm-hmm. They are fear mongers and they will li- they will destroy you physically, yes, but even worse, they will destroy you mentally because you'll think that you can't live with them and you can't live without she them. She talks about that in the video, how yeah. she, because P, she addresses the fact people wonder why I didn't leave because I, I literally, it wasn't the truth, but I had convinced myself I had nowhere or no one to go to. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, I, I can't believe that she had the strength to put this out. Not that I know her or doubted that from her, but it's a huge, huge, there is, she gains nothing from it. No. It's a, a huge public thing now, and everybody was talking about it, and that's got to be really challenging, but I hope that it gives other people strength to get out of the situations that they're in if they're not healthy or safe situations. And What's a shame is it that this Blake Jenner guy will go on, like, either denying it, of course he'll deny it because she didn't come out and say it was him, and two, he won't go to prison. Like, men like this should go to prison. They really should. They should be in prison. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, and also the audacity and and balls, in a bad way, to be with somebody as famous as Melissa Benoist, who has a platform, yeah. and be so sure that she's never going to out you that you are throwing her through drywall, mm-hmm. like knowing that she has. Some people don't even have that platform. Knowing that right. she has the platform and feeling so safe in with how ugly you are as a human that she's never going to tell on you. That goes to the mind games you were talking about. That disgusts me that yeah. a human could be like that. Yeah, he, yeah. He's so convinced that that he could do this and get away get with away it. Get away with it, obviously. And yeah. for a while he did. Um, my, I, got in I, the, mean, I, gar- I guarantee you she didn't come out and say it because she doesn't want to be sued for slander. But I think it's not slander when you have proof, which I'm sure proof. she does. But I, I got in a little bit of an argument with my brother about this when this came out because he obviously believes her, uh, uh, feels horrible for her, but he was like, I really, really wish he said she said his name. And I said, I wish she does whatever's part of her healing process, yeah. whatever the F that is, because if it's not helpful for her to say his name and that's not the point of this for her, then she should not. Well, the flip side of this whole thing is, and I and I totally get what you're saying. If she says his name, he gets lawyers involved. He goes on TV shows. He denies it. Mm-hmm. He drags her name through the mud. They are now reconnected as a people, because, yeah. and that's the last thing that she wants. It's about she, her healing process correct, moving she, forward. Wants nothing to do with this guy. She doesn't want to be part of his life. This is clearly like it's taken her so long to even come out and say this stuff when she was getting beat up five years ago. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, and she could have easily at this point never said anything, and I, I that's why it's so impressive that she did. Yeah, she got totally. out of the situation, and she still wanted to, as a public figure, be like, this is what happened to me. And I think if you're— And on Thanksgiving. Yeah. You're a woman, um, and I'm sure Monel, what's his, what's his Chris name? Wood. Chris Wood. Chris Wood. Chris Wood. I'm sure he was like, listen, you, you do what you want. I guarantee you there wasn't a part of his body that was like, you need to go do this. Right. This is like, this is a Melissa Benoist thing. There's yeah. nobody else. This is her world. This is, and we as people, we don't, we don't, you don't have to do this for us. We don't need to be anything like that. This is for you. It's not our prerogative it's not, to know. It's, it's not. not our, yeah. But if she thought that the healing process would, hey, I'm going to come out, I'm going to say, you know, this guy beat me up. He abused me. He physically abused me. He mentally abused me. If you're out there, there are ways. That I didn't think that I could and people help me. If you don't think you can, think again. Like go for someone, even if it's just the police or something like that. There are people out there. There are services out there. There are – you have friends. You have family. There are people in this world that will gladly take you in and help you out because men like that, I mean, they deserve to be in prison. Like I said, they deserve yeah. to be in prison and they deserve to get – whatever happens to them in prison. Yeah, I completely agree. I don't know if that goes as part of the hashtag Me Too or where, where that fits in Hollywood's bullshit, horrible things that are happening, yeah. but it definitely deserves the attention because she is not the only one out there no, in that situation. Yeah, definitely uh, not. So congratulations to her that yeah. she has made it this far and is now in a position in her life that she feels like she can share that and I was just so impressed, so impressed by her. Who are these dudes? Yeah, uh, pieces of living shit. Man, woman, otherwise, whoever you are, if you are a domestic abuser, I, I have no... I I have no patience for it. Yeah, there's nothing. It's just horrible.